This is Kyle Hyman here with Andrew Serrani. We are going to do some trivia today on this Thrivia Thursday. The triumphant return. Oh, yes. Welcome to Thrivia Thursdays, the day when we take a look at some Catholic trivia in a search for information that you don't already know. But after today, you will be six steps closer to being a Catholic genius. Categories include geography, entertainment, history, art and literature, science and nature, sports and leisure. And here's your hostess, Andrea Serrani. Last week's was creepy because of the things we learned about. 666. Uh, episode 666. The Mark of the Beast. Yeah. This week, we're celebrating resurrection power. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Ready? Ready. Okay. Geography. One of Jesus' appearances in his resurrected body to his oh, disciples boy. came on the road to Emmaus. Okay. It's kind of a famous road, really. One of the most famous roads. How far is Emmaus from Jerusalem? This is actually mentioned in the story. Oh. Which I didn't pay close enough attention to, and then I did all this other research just to get the same number. I even converted kilometers to miles. So it's in miles? It's in miles. In our translation of the Bible, it is. Huh. Uh, Let's say eight miles. Close. Seven. Oh. (laughs) I thought thought that that was a good guess. Yeah. I would. I, I think I would have guessed more, personally. But I guess if you're walking everywhere, seven miles is a lot, is a long road. We should do a like a road to Emmaus walk, right? Like an eight mile also, walk. Also, I think the story is actually really funny because Jesus just shows up and they don't recognize him. Yeah. <laughs> These two unnamed disciples, and he's like, "What's going on, guys?" Yeah. What, what They're like, about? "You have to. You haven't heard this amazing right. story. Yeah. Like you don't know about <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth." And Jesus is like, "Oh, yeah. Tell me more about that <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth guy." <laughs> Such a good story. Okay, entertainment. This 2016 movie follows Roman military tribune Clavius, who remains set in his ways after serving 25 years in the army. He arrives at a crossroads when he's tasked to investigate the mystery of what happened to Jesus following the crucifixion, a missing body. Accompanied by trusted aide Lucius, his quest to disprove rumors of a risen Messiah makes him question his own beliefs and spirituality as his journey takes him to places never dreamed of. Clavius discovers the truth that he's been seeking. What's the movie? Uh, is this a, a more recent movie? 2016. 2016. Uh, risen? Is risen is it? Yeah. I have. I, I never it. watched it. I heard really good things about it, and I watched the scene this morning. It's like a YouTube clip oh, okay. of when Clavius first actually sees Jesus, and he like recognizes him as the person that he killed on the cross, and oh, he's boy. just like. It's a really cool scene. He's just like blown away by it. Spoiler. Yeah. Well, you know. (laughs) Jesus rose from the dead, guys. Sorry. (laughs) Spoiler. (laughs) Okay. History. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre is where Jesus' empty tomb is in Jerusalem. Which three Christian denominations share the church according to the statutes agreed upon in 1853? Oh. Well, one, you can guess one. The Roman Catholic Roman Church. Roman Catholic, yep. The, the other it, biggest one. Greek. Greek, Orthodox. Orthodox. Yep. Hooray! And then the this third. This one would be harder to guess. Is Russian. Armenian oh. Apostolic. Okay. Yes. Uh, you should read up on these religious denominations sharing the Holy Sepulchre because there's a lot of drama yeah. that goes on at the Holy they, Sepulchre. They take shifts yeah, and stuff not, with the prayers. It doesn't and... seem, most of the stories do not involve the Catholic custodians. Thank goodness. <laughs> but there's a lot, there are a lot of fist fights and really? arguments. Oh yes. Like physical. Oh yeah. People hospitalized. <laughs> anyway, look it up if you're interested. We're going to talk more about now. the Holy Sepulchre <laughs> all through uh, Easter season. Okay. Arts and literature. There are three parts of Handel's famous opera oratorio Messiah. In which part is the resurrection? Well, you've, you've got a 33. I would assume in the third part. Three. It's not though. It's oh. in the second part. 
it's like right smack dab in the middle. Okay. Because then they do the ascension yeah. and then they have like the whole beginning of spreading of the gospel. Makes sense. Do you know what the last song is? The end. <laughs> it's the Hallelujah Chorus. That's the very last song. The end of the resurrection. Of the, no, of the third? whole thing. At the end of the whole thing. Yeah. Handel's Messiah ends with the Hallelujah Chorus. Oh. Uh. Anyway. Probably should have known that. Science and nature. One theory is that Jesus died of suffocation, but according to Dr. Doctor's own Dr. Tom McGovern, uh-huh. this is a myth because Jesus was speaking and cried out right before he died, which you can't do if you can't breathe. Oh, yeah. So how did Jesus probably die? From blood loss? Yeah. Shock from blood loss. This is a quote from Dr. McGovern. Jesus almost certainly died of shock brought on by copious blood loss so that he did not have in- enough blood to keep his brain and heart beating and therefore the rest of his body alive his heart probably started beating in a rapid rhythm called ventrial tachycardia about 30 seconds before death the heart rhythm slows down radically and noticeably such that jesus likely noticed and sensed his end was near this gave him the opportunity to cry his final words and give his life for us that's episodes 11 and 12 by the way of dr doctor if you want to go back and listen to them sports and leisure when jesus appeared on the shore of the sea of galilee which of the apostles were fishing this was just in yesterday's episode of Truth and Charity. Oh, boy. See how good your memory is. Peter. Peter. Hooray! And James. James, yep. Hooray! Oh, I thought you said two. Oh, no. There are. I said which of the apostles. Oh, okay. Uh, Peter, James, James, James's brother. And, uh, James and John. John. Andrew. Hooray! No, no, Andrew, actually. Oh. Uh, Nathaniel. The, the dad, yeah, Nathaniel. Nathaniel, yeah. Nathaniel Thomas. and Bartholomew are the same person. Uh, uh, oh. And then Thomas. That's right. Hooray! Way to go. Just listing the apostles <laughs> and getting the right ones. Eventually get the right ones. <laughs> 